I was on the clock at work when I was notified of this. And when I saw the headline, I said, I know no one out there is even remotely surprised by what just happened. Like I said, I'm going to do my best to keep this in the news as much as possible. So Lori Loughlin, she was released on a one million dollar bond following the arrest that she you know received from for her involvement in the college scam that is currently brewing the media right now am i surprised you got released on a one million dollar bond no i am not nor am i surprised by what i'm about to tell you so not only was this woman released on a one million dollar bond even though she committed a huge fraudulent act which is a felony last time i checked but the reason as to why she was released on a one million dollar bond is because she had to continue or finish filming a movie all the way in canada y'all heard that correctly they allow her to get out of jail on a one million dollar bond which at 10 percent is only a hundred thousand dollars to go to canada to finish filming her movie if that is not the definition of white privilege in the flesh I don't know what to tell you I am not in the least bit shocked or surprised that this happened now Jussie Smollett and this and what I'm about to say I'm not defending his actions is about to go to trial like he's about to begin his trial pre-trial whatever it is he has 16 he's been indicted on 16 felony counts faces 64 years in prison four years per count he currently is on empire but he was not allowed to continue finish filming his scenes at least to my knowledge at least i don't think that he was especially since all the drama that's surrounding him but this woman did what she did and was allowed to not only get out of jail on a bond, but able to not, but able to go to another country to continue finishing filming her movie. Now, my thing is this, what's going to happen when she's done filming? Are they going to give her an ankle monitor? Like they, <laughs> like I cannot make any of this stuff up. I can't, I wish I could, but I can't. Let me go ahead and read some of this article. This is one day after Lori Loughlin was ensnared in a bombshell college admissions investigation. The Full House star has been released on a $1 million bond. As a part of her bond arrangement, the 54-year-old is being permitted to travel within the continental U.S. as well as British Columbia, where she is currently filming. So this woman can travel between states. She can travel to Canada and she can travel to Mexico. She just can't leave the actual continent of North America. Mind you, what she just got charged with. Let me continue. She will have to surrender her passport in November when her projects are expected to wrap. You know what's so funny? Jesse Smollett had to surrender his passport and I don't think he was done filming Empire. But let me continue. Lachlan is prohibited from speaking to anyone related to the case, with the exception of her famed fashion designer husband, Massimo Giannulli, who I actually talked about in that video earlier, who was also a defendant in the case along with both of her daughters who could be witnesses. Earlier on Wednesday, Lachlan was taken into custody in connection with the scheme in which wealthy parents allegedly paid bribes to get their children admitted into co top colleges. A rep for Lachlan told Fox News, News, I'm sorry, she had no information regarding her client. The actress attorney did not respond to our multiple requests for comment. On Tuesday, Gia Newley appeared in court and was released also on a $1 million bond secured by the couple's home. The judge ordered that Gian Newley restrict his travel to the continental United States and surrender his passport. Now he can't even uh he can't even uh leave the establishment if I'm reading this correctly. Lachlan did not appear in court on Tuesday because she was filming a movie in Vancouver at the time of Gia Newley's arrest. According to multiple reports, the actress landed at LAX on Tuesday during her husband's court hearing. Federal law enforcement officials went to Lachlan's home in Los Angeles on Tuesday and discovered she was out of the country, according to TMZ. She faces charges of conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. And I'm not uh, 
going to read the rest because the rest is pretty much uh, what we already know. But yeah, like I said, this is white privilege in the flesh. I, it, it doesn't get mu- it doesn't get much more plain put than this. Like I said, I'm going to try my best to stay on top of this story because we cannot afford to allow lamestream media to just bury this under the rug. Of course, they're going to be talking about it like crazy now because it's a fresh story. But come next week, I still want this thing to act as if it just happened that week. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.